Hey guys, it's Neil from Terrific Trades, and today I'll be jumping into the details on my trades on how I made over $5,000 last week without buying any stocks. Instead, I used the option strategies that I've showed in my earlier videos. Remember, there are other YouTube channels that give you their opinions on the market, but I actually put my money where my mouth is by placing the trades and broadcasting the strategies beforehand. You guys can check out my video last Saturday, which I had placed some bets for Tesla and Apple stocks. For Tesla, I played a call spread at 680, which in plain English means that I hope that Tesla stocks close below 680 for my maximum profits. On Friday, Tesla ended up closing at 573, making me money. The second bet was a naked put for Apple at 240, which simply means that if the Apple stock drops 240, I will have to buy five contracts of that. And if it doesn't fall, then I'll get to keep the premium without investing. On Friday, Apple ended up closing at 280, giving me my max profit without buying any stock. I will also show you the three other trades I placed throughout the course of the week, which are Google, Disney, and Wells Fargo. I will show you these trades and how I made money on these trades on the Thinkorswim platform. See you there. Okay guys, so here we are at the Thinkorswim platform. And I'm going to be showcasing my Wells Fargo trade first. So, for Wells Fargo, on the first, I sold a naked put for a strike price of 20 and received 79 cents premium. And on the sixth, I basically ended up buying it back for 43 cents. And 79 minus 43 is 36 and I had 70, 73 contracts so 36 times 73 to calculate the total profit that I made from this trade so I made that much which is 2628 from this Wells Fargo trade. Okay, so here I am at Disney, and you can see I did a call spread for Disney, and you, my strike price was 110, it's 112, and I received this much premium. So let's just examine the charts for Disney. So Disney was quite a story so over here you guys must be going like oh my god that's really close to 110 but here i'll just explain a story so basically i bought it here thinking that was all good and i just thought that disney could not go to 110 and even if it does it's just gonna be really fake and it won't stick there because all the disney parks are closed like they're not they like just, they're just on shutdown. They don't have movies being made. Disney parks are closed. Their cruises are closed. It's just like full shutdown. But then the news that came out around this time period is that they, a streaming service hit 50 million subs. So they just boosted up. But I just saw this was all artificial because majority of their main ventures are closed so they can't really operate that well so that just makes no sense so i wasn't worried i just stuck my ground i wasn't worried and then over here you can see it closed at 105 so i was pretty chill about disney and let's go examine google now so that's google yes Okay, so just don't be overwhelmed by all of this. It's pretty simple. So I did a vertical put spread here, uh, but 
it's like the same thing as Disney, but this is on the bottom. So my strike price was 980. I need to know where. Like I just thought that Google would not go to 980 by the end of the week, and that's what the, its stock is currently at, 1,206 as you can see right here. And I basically sort of day traded, I guess you could consider that. So I day traded this like crazy, <laughs> as you can see here. Like I day traded the heck out of these stocks. So over here is the credit, and because I uh, here, here's the credit, and then here's the debit, which is me um, selling it back. Oh, I mean, not selling it back, sorry, buying it back from, yeah, just buying it back. And I just kept doing this, and each of these transactions made me around $200. So, yeah, that's my trade summary for Google. So, so, I just want to wrap this video up with, like, just a message that I am responding to your suggestions of like making like a tutorial video on how to get started step by step so yes I will start doing that and I'll make these tutorial videos soon and also stay tuned for my next week's trades it's gonna be coming out soon and I hope you like and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let's just hope for the best next week and yeah see you guys later stay safe and don't do anything too scary bye bye <laughs>